I just enjoy seeing people get something they didn't get before. You know, that there's, there's, there's this natural world out there that is in some ways obvious, in some ways obscure, and that sometimes a very complicated problem can be broken down into a, a, a whole bunch, but a bunch of understandable parts is actually really kind of neat. Ever since I was a little kid, you know, watching documentaries um, on Science Channel or National Geographic, uh, those always kind of really inspired me, and I was just so curious about what was out there and what humans could know. And it wasn't until my senior year that for some reason a light bulb went on. I was like, I can go do that. Like, I always assumed that you were just chosen <laughs> to go down this path. And, and coming to JMU and, and actually following through with that has been an extremely difficult and rewarding path. In all of our like undergraduate classes, there are a lot of labs connected with the classes and there's the potential to join a research lab. So there's a lot of hands-on experience with what you're learning in the classroom. So it's real, real important to us that the students get involved in the practice of doing science pretty early on. I mean, in some cases, even freshman year or at least sophomore year, we like to have students in the lab um, working on stuff that uh, people have not done before. A research experience at JMU is unique because it focuses on the undergraduate students. They are in the lab, uh, for instance, we have instrumentation here, electron microscopes, atomic force microscopes, a, a full clean room with metal deposition, photolithography tools and things like that. And it's the students who use that. If you're going to study science, you should walk in and see, okay, this is where I'm going to do science. And doing science doesn't mean taking an experiment that was done 100 years ago and repeating it. It means doing something novel and new and, and seeing something no one's seen before. I worked um, under Dr. Anka Konstantin, uh, working on uh, active galactic nuclei, studying essentially um, supermassive black holes in the centers of galaxies. And that, that, was, that was a lot of fun. It was, it was really cool that as a sophomore, I was able to kind of tap into those new abilities and see the kind of talents and skills that are being demanded actually in the field of physics. Everyone in the department is kind of behind you. Um, so when you're an undergraduate doing research, by putting that research experience in, in students' uh, hands, it separates our undergraduates from others. You know, it, it offers something incredibly unique. Other programs are training students to be great at memorizing and not great problem solvers. And I think we send problem solvers out into the world. It creates a, an environment where undergraduates get to try things out, get to experiment. And if I want to do it, I have the, uh, the resources to do it. So being here creates a comfortable environment um, where someone can take, take a couple risks in the lab and see what happens, experiment, be a scientist. My goals kind of progress and change as we move along and decide what exactly we want to discover rather than a set laboratory. You and the professor are collaboratively working together in a very, very real sense to create um, new works uh, that will be published and go to conferences and present about work that you actually did and you know through and through. The, the independent research and the focus on mentoring students um, to do research, because when you're mentoring a student to do research, above the subject matter, you're, you're mentoring a student to think critically.